Hello everyone, welcome to tdsprime.com. In this video, we will learn how to make regular return of 26Q. Let's start. Open the eTDS Excel software which has been downloaded. Extract the zip folder by right click, click on extract all, then click on extract. Click on eTDS Excel software. Here you can see eTDS Excel blank template, step by step guide, read me first, sample files for your reference. You have to click the eTDS Excel blank template for make the regular return. Before opening the template, you have to unblock this file by right click on the file. Then go to the properties, check on unblock, click on apply, then click on ok. Now click on eTDS Excel blank template. If you are not getting unblock option, then you have to enable macros from this option. Click on option. Click on enable this content. Then click on ok. Before you begin, you can take help from help guide. You can see demo videos. You can also schedule live demo with us as per your preference time. Then click to start. You can see the form type. From here you can select the form type. Today we will learn how to make regular return of 26Q. Select form 26Q. Select financial year. Select quarter. Select regular for regular return. Correction for correction return. Now click on create data entry sheet. You can see three sheet. Chalan sheet, payment sheet and deductor sheet. In the Chalan sheet, you have to fill the details of the Chalan submitted. In the payment sheet, you have to fill the detail of the payment of deductee. In the deductor sheet, you have to fill the deducted details. First, we will see the Chalan detail. When the Chalan detail record number is given, the sequence number is 1 to 3. Sequence number is to be given here to enter as many Chalan are available to you. In B column, you have to put bank Chalan number. In C column, serial number of form number 24G for government purpose. In D column, you have to mention bank branch code, means BSR code. In E column, you have to mention date of bank chalan. After that, the total income tax on the amount you have paid in the chalan will be mentioned in F column. If you have deposited third charge amount in that chalan, then mention in G column. Sales amount in H column. If you have paid any interest amount, then mention in I column. If you pay any other amount in Chalan, then mention in J column. In K column, total of deposit amount as per Chalan, then you have to mention in that column. If you have done late filing and paying late filing fee, then you have to mention in N column. In O column, you have to mention minor heads of Chalan. You can select from the drop down. Select 100, 200, 300 and 400. Now come to the payment details. In A column, you have to mention Chalan detail record number. In B column, you have to mention deductee code. You can select 1 for company and 2 for individual. Mention PAN number of your deductee detail in C column. In D column, you have to mention deductee reference number in case of PAN not available. In E column, you have to fill the name of deductee. In F column, fill income tax of deductee. In G column, mention surcharge amount. In H column, mention sales amount. In I column, mention total value of TDS. In J column, mention total tax deposit. In K column, mention how much amount you have paid to that deductee. In L column, mention date on which amount paid or credited. In M column, Mention date on which tax deducted or collected. In N column, mention rate at which tax deducted or collected. In O and P column, will be remain blank in 26Q. These two columns will be applicable for 27Q. In Q column, mention reason for non deduction, lower deduction. You can select from the drop down. Here you can see. In R column, you have to select the section code under which your TDS has been deducted. 
you can select the section code from the drop down. In S column, you have to fill if you have any certificate number. T to buy column, new fields are shown here. Amount of cash withdrawal, which is in excess of 1 crore, 3 crore. If value is applicable, mention value in this field. Now, come to the deductor sheet. Enter TAN number of deductor, TAN number of deductor, address of the deductor. After that, fill responsible person detail. If you file return in last quarter, then select yes and put acknowledgement number. If no, then select no from the drop down. For making the return, you have to do right click and click on verify and export. After clicking on verify and export, the software validates your entire sheet, validates the data and check all the cells to ensure that all your data is correct. Now click on yes for exporting. Finished verification. Do you wish to export? Click on yes. Finished exporting. Do you wish to validate for FVU files? Click on yes. Please select the CSI file that you have downloaded. If you do not have the CSI file, download the CSI file from the income tax department portal. Click on OK. Select CSI file. Click on open. Please wait while the FVU validate the file. If there is any error, then software can highlight it and show it. If there is no error is found, then export the data directly and give it in a view format. File validated successfully, click on OK. A view file and 27A form will automatically generated in the folder. You can see pop-up, file validation successful. You can upload the view file created online on the income tax portal. You can also see help article. For feedback and queries, feel free to contact us. Thank you.